our people have the program that an elder cannot be at home and watch the goat deliver in tethers. I am your father, not just an elder. So it is my responsibility to advise you if you are veering off the right path. That is my pleasure to, what should I say, listen to your words and um, piece of advice. But before you proceed, can I ask you a question? That means go ahead, sir. Okay. Thank you, Father. Looking at me, will you say you gave me the best training? Like, would you say that you prepared me for adulthood? Will you beat your chest to say, I prepared this, my son, for adulthood, and I'm proud of him and his achievements? Hmm. Well, on the face value, I would say yes, but with recent events, I think I'll be wrong if I say that. Recent events have shown that I probably have not given you the best of training. Well, Father, it's depending on the way you're seeing it. Chimamanda is a lovely soul. I'm not daft. I'm not a fool. I know what I want. When I see one, I know what I want. That girl has the heart of gold. She's pure. She's an angel. But why settle for a prostitute? Are there no other women of good virtue out there that you can choose from? Yeah. That girl is more than what you see in it. She deserves a second chance. You don't capitalize it because of what she did in the past. She is no longer a prostitute. And besides, society threw her into that. You don't just um, justify it like that. Everyone deserves a second chance. You always say that. How come you're changing now? Son, your association with this girl is not in the best interest of our noble family. You cannot drag the name of our family to the mud because of your infatuation with that girl. Besides, the vehemence with which you assert your argument baffles me. Is there anything else you want me to know? Yes, because um, mom believes that um, under a spell, <laughs> how can I be under a spell? Because I'm in love with you, Amanda. Okay, Dad, tell me sincerely. Do you think I'm under a spell? My answer is a categorical no. Yeah. I don't suspect any diabolical manipulations on you. However, I suspect she's playing a mind game on you. She's a very smart girl, you know. Uh, no, she's a smart girl, of course. It's part of the qualities I, I love about her. Smart, good health, and um, but that's by the way, no one is playing mind game here. It's love, Dad. It's love. I believe you still understand the language of love. It's still the same here. I'm in love with Chima Amanda, and all I need is support. You are the only person that understands. So all I need is support. Mom saying I'm a Monday spell doesn't make sense for me, really. Is that? My family 
Ukraine has raised armies against Mandinia with Chimamanda. And my mom is leading the charge. My mom, I know, will never back down anytime soon. Here, I expected that from them, like I also did initially. But I believe uh, with time, they will get to understand her very well, like I also did. So, what's your plan? I mean, how do you intend to achieve that? No plans for now, my brother. Do I even need a plan? I mean, this is my choice, and I expect everyone to respect that. Uh, if you ask me, you don't have to sound uh, that way. Of course, you know there is a reason behind the agitation. And I think the onus lies with you to, I mean, put things right in the right, spot, uh, right perspective. Your mom called me last night. What was the conversation all about? <laughs> she was accusing me that I am the one behind everything you do and, man, the conversation was not easy at all, at all. She still sees me like a baby. She's overprotective and, and always tend to interfere in my decisions. That's, that's wrong now. Am I still a child? She's not alone in that. Mothers are very used to that. But you see, it's born out of love. It's born out of love. But uh, I think uh, <laughs> you'll try your best and make them understand, possibly see things from your own perspective. The question now is, can my family ever accept Chimamanda? Will they ever see her as an ideal woman for me? I know I won't leave her because of them, but you know, I still want my family to support what I'm doing and, and you know, it's, 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 yeah. it's giving me a headache. Like, I think about it all the time. Fight here and there, mother fighting, brothers. My father is a bit understanding, but it doesn't still mean that he's, he's not disturbing me to, to, to you know, make another choice. It's, it's terrible. You see, they will understand when they get to see the woman that she is. Of course, our past will keep calling to ring a bell, but with time, everything will fade away. You understand? So, be brave, be smart, and, uh, you know, Make your family see the reasons why you love this girl and why they need to give you their total support. Hmm. That I've done over and over again. I just think it's, it's God's intervention, really. It's God's But calm, but calm. Things will fall into place. Hmm? Just don't get worked up about it. It's fine. So, um, what's up with the fire? Are you done? Yeah. Um, you just need to go through and walk on the east in it. So you get back to me when you're done, yeah? Sorry. Is that? Hold on, I'm coming. Where are you leave? Oh, good afternoon, ma'am. It's fitting for your profession. You did a good job here. Um, sorry, ma'am. I'm still wondering how you were able to find my place. Oh, how I found your place. Your place is not hidden, of course. You're a professional prostitute. And your name is on the lips of every young man, all of them in the city. I must applaud you. You did your marketing very well. Bravo. You're a good marketing officer. I'm um, sorry, ma'am. Um, if, if you would sit down, I can offer you something. Oh, shut up. Just shut that, your stupid mouth. You think I came here for a friendly visit or something? Oh, you want to poison me the way you poisoned my son? If you look at me very well, you will know that I'm too big for such a thing to work on me. What exactly do you want from my son? With all sincerity, ma'am, 
I'm in love with your son. Love? A prostitute in love? Prostitution and love. <laughs> Do they work together? A prostitute in love? Why are you pretending? Why don't you confess to the whole world that you are in love with my son's money? Why hide it under the guise of love? Name your prize, young lady. Prize? Don't plead down with me because I will slap your face. I'm sorry, ma, but the love I have for your son is not for sale. <laughs> A prostitute does not love money, which is more expensive. Your love or your body? Because your body, you know what I mean? Ma, I don't understand what you mean by that. But if it's what I'm thinking, no Naira equivalent can be compared to the love I have for your son. Take this. This is a check of five million Naira. You take it and leave my son alone. Take it. It will go a long way to help you out of prostitution. But that's still, you do something better for your life. So keep it. I'm sorry, Ma, but I can't take it. Like I said before, I love your son. It's not about the money. I'm not interested. <laughs> Your love has no Naira equivalent. Maybe one dollar, but I still pounds. Listen, young lady. Listen and listen, Claire. Free my son from whatever spell you cast on him. I'm giving you one week. Today I came in peace. Next time I come here, it will be bomb. It will be fire for fire. I will show you the stuff the obese are made of. I've warned you, I won't warn you again. No. Don't do this to you, Amanda. Don't do this. I don't have to cry for this woman. I don't have to cry for this. This is a cross. I must be here with so much courage. My past is long gone and has been buried. And today, a new Chima Amanda, Obianuju Okoli, has been born. I don't think I can make it. I'm very busy. Okay, okay. L let me check. Let me check if I can. Where my money? Where my money? Which money? Hmm. You uh, give me money, keep. Eh? Leave me. Oh. I had a joke with you. Leave me. See, you owe my salary. Keep up. Say, 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 what happened? You know how many people go chop for that salary? I beg you my money. I beg you. What do you consign me? I beg you money. Eh? Now you carry your left leg and your naked icon, give me. Arm. I beg you. I force you. Hey, you want chop him? You want chop him? Eh? Uh, make, make I see you. Make you chop him now. Eh? Want chop him? Make I see you. You leave me. Give me my money. I go tell her girl. You go tell who? I go tell her girl. Yeah, this is how they feel, girl. Okay? I don't feel girl like this. Eh? Call her girl. I'm going to help you. Oh, God, come. Mm -hmm. Give me my money. Give me my money. No, give me. You don't leave me. Give me my money. You don't leave me. 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 I 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 don't
I'm gonna lie, oh. No, 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 no. She go, 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 take my money. See, I see, B. Uri. Sir. Why would you collect his money? Sir, I'm not collecting money, oh. I dare you. He didn't call me. Within two left legs. Tell me, say, like me. Because I'm not green, he make I give him the money back. Hey, you don't say you like me too. Eh? You don't like me too. Will, will, you, will you shut up? Is that true? Oh, God, God, I, I, don't, I don't give him any money. I don't give him any money. And I should go, 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 go collect my money. He says I dash your money. I, I dash your money because I be, be flashed with the dash. Where they dash people money anyhow? Lie no sumba. You sabi lie. Oh, I'm gonna lie you. He doesn't like me. I no, I no agree. I collect the money for your hand now. And I used to make a give and back because I no agree. Come in room. Come whose room? Over comma. My friend, my friend, come on. Sh 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 shut up your smelling gut. Go, go and open the gate. Oh, 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 that's not my salary. Eh, eh, no, 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 my salary be that too. Eh, you know I make we we go talk for that salary. No, like sixty two people. Come here, come here, come here. Did you collect his salary? Yes. But now you can give me. I know for some. No, 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 no Go and bring the money. Now? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No, we'll, we'll write letter to federal government. They will now process it from high court and supreme court before they will give. But Franco, come and go and bring the money. Okay, thank you. Shut, shut up. Don't, don't, don't say nonsense. You don't have money. You don't know you work hard first and make the money before giving a woman money. After working hard for the whole month, instead of you to send money to, 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 to your mother in the village, you, you'll be giving a woman money. And listen, let me tell you, you see that money, we are going to divide it. For me to step in in this case, we'll divide the money. You, you don't have money, you're, instead of you to work hard for yourself. Mm, thank you, sir. Thank you, it's better we divide it than this, this, this mugu. I did ask you money. My friend, can open the gate? Mm -hmm. Mad girl. No, 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 no. I did ask you money. As far as you can. I'm waiting for you, Uri. Baby, mm -hmm. what agreement did you have with my mother? No, I didn't have any agreement with her. Okay, because I really don't know why she she called to tell me that um, you guys had an agreement of giving you five million and also a Canadian visa, which you gladly accepted. Mm -hmm. Mary. All right, babes, I will tell you exactly what happened. Your mother came to my house, wanting me to stay away from you. That she's going to offer me five million naira to stay clear off her son. Really? But I vehemently refused, baby. Except for all the threats, there is nothing more. Baby, you and I know that I can't even do a thing like that. I couldn't have agreed to her terms. No. Well, the, the way she said it sounded quite convincing because you, you, you didn't tell me. Baby, okay. I did not tell you because you have a lot you're facing already. I don't want to add more salt to injury. So I wanted to keep it to myself and then maybe discuss it with you much later. I'm sorry about that. Okay? Okay, okay, my love, but no secrets. Of course, baby. No secrets. I cross my heart and hope to die. Okay? Okay. You know I love you. It's fine. Yeah, right. You you were telling me something. You mean that Jide gave his salary to Ure because he wanted to woo her? <laughs> Don't mind that, my girl. He gave out his salary. You needed to have seen his face when I told him to go open the gate. He has to do his job. What fault is it? <laughs> you shouldn't be callous. What nonsense. Babes. Well, you know, I, I gave the both of them. Oh, babes, I want you to do something for me. No, no sugar. No, 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 me. babes, babes. I want you to do something. No sugar for you. Because I want some massage. No sugar. Oh, massage. <laughs> no sugar. I saw a massage. Stop. Oh, no, babes. Come do your work. <laughs> when 
did this start? Honestly, like, I'm surprised. What happened? When? When you tell them. Calm down. Calm down. You see, it started uh, the day you proposed to Chim Amanda. We talked at length, and uh, the conversation was beautiful. But like they always say, the rest is history. <laughs> and you couldn't even tell me. No, that is even it. Even you, Angie, you literally hid it from me. They are so secretive. How, how can my own guy, homeboy? You know. At first, we had in doubts if this is actually love or just games. Because everything happened so fast. Yeah. Hey, come on. Take a chill pill, man. <laughs> you see, we decided to incubate. So that we'll be sure what it is. It is what it is. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you know? <laughs> I'm thankful everything turned out to be love. True love. Yes. <laughs> you say we decided to come here because this was where it all started. I couldn't have uh, thought of anywhere else if not here. Baby, your coming into my life made me understand why Joe King said, and I quote, Love is just a word until someone gives it a meaning. You see, words fail me to express in detail how I feel for you. Oh my word. Babe. Babe. Baby, with this ring, I give you my heart and I promise you will never ever walk alone. Oh. I will shield you with my arms and shelter you with my heart. Oh. Miss Ngozi Ubaka, will you be my wife? I've never felt so deeply in love with anyone in my life. Yes, I'll marry you. I needed to compliment it. <laughs> Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. You know, this calls for a celebration. Yo, yeah. mama. And you know what? Mm -mm. I'm going to freaking handle it. Yeah. Mad celebration. It does, okay? it does, it does, so maybe it does. I'm going to set the table. Okay. That's real. <laughs> thank you, thank you. You made it happen. <laughs> I'm happy for you guys. Thank you, thank you. Oh, yes. <laughs> And I'll do it over and over again if she tries to do what she did when she came. Or anyone. Are you choosing a prostitute over your family? You dare not stand before me and call my woman names. I will not take that. Aren't you sending funny now, bro? A woman that is known in the whole city for what she does? Bro, you can't be serious. Don't you care about what people are gonna say? Those people. Do I look like I care? I do not care. This is my happiness we are talking about. You don't tell me, you don't tell me how to run my life because of people. Bro, bro, bro. Don't you care about our family name? Our family name is in the lips of every rat 
and cut in this town. How do you expect my friends to feel when they learn that my brother is getting married to a prostitute they have slept with over and over and over again? What did you care about my pride and dignity? How I will feel as their friend? To hell with your friends. To hell with your friends. All you care is about yourself. You don't even care about me. How about my own happiness? No, Uchechuku, how about my own happiness? You're telling me it's your friends. Do I look like I care? How would I think of a woman who has thrown her own dignity and pride to the dogs just to test every shape and size of what is in between the legs of every man in this city? Listen, Tell me. Listen, now, listen, good. It's high time you left my office now. Really? Really, bro? You sending me out of your leave office? My office? Fine. I would leave your office. There is no need for this. But let me tell you this, bro. Read my lips. Whatever you're planning with that girl will never Kingsley. work. Let me call my secret. Do you understand? It will never work, bro. I will let you marry a prostitute. Kingsley. Kingsley guy. No. This boy. This boy is biting more than he can chew. Look at look, look at my office chair. Surprise. Did you see what he did to me? Don't talk to me. What happened? No, 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 it's fine, it's fine. Don't talk to me. What happened? What happened? You can't be looking like this and it's fine. It's fine. Babe? My love? You still haven't told me where you're taking me. I mean, which of your friends, please? Oh, it was uh, my, my um, classmate back then, uh, Chidi Bear. He just got back from Germany. Yeah. Oh, but you, you never mentioned him to me. Uh, because we've not had conversation that, that would lead to that. Uh, it's okay then. That why are you meeting today. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've been watching you closely since we left the house. Your mood is not cool with me. Is everything okay? I mean, is something bothering you? You know, I told you we are coming to see a friend. The yes. The truth is that we are not coming here to see any friend. This is my parents' house. What? Oh, baby, come on. You should have told me. Huh? I know if I if I tell you, you will tell me to wait or you know for the best time to come here. I just want us to do it. Whatever comes out of it is fine. Let's just take the bull by the horn. I don't want to wait. Whatever we are going to face now, let us face it squarely. Baby, are you sure about this? Don't worry. You're with me. Okay? Just be strong. Stand by me. Let's go. What? What? You brought this prostitute to the house, bro? Really? Bro? Mom! Mom! Mother! I can't believe this, bro. I can't believe you would do this to us. Bro, seriously? She like at me. Where is he? You! You brought this prostitute to the house? I know you came to test your lucky charm on the whole family. 
You failed. You failed. I shall more come come you failed. Take it easy. Take what is it? Take what is it? You. You want to marry this whore? Are you? You, you hypnotize my son so that he will take your wasted body in. That will not work. Prostitute, that is what you are. Can't you say something and say, man, you are in the house? Say something! I shall what? Stop! Why are you covering her? Why are you covering her face? Idiot! Look at her! Ho! <laughs> Nonsense! Take her away from here! The girl I want to marry. She's an orphan and a graduate of applied chemistry. Though she prostituted in the past to see her way through school, but like I said, that's in the past now. I brought her here because... You want what? You brought her here to do what? Of all the women in this city, it is this cheap whore, Ashabo Kobo Kobo, that you brought to this house to marry. It will not happen. Oh, my man. Thank you very much. Just what is that? Thank you very much, mom. I, I am very surprised at you, bro. To think that you, my elder brother, will be the one acting like someone who has lost all his morals and values. Imagine. <laughs> Mom, I want to ask you a question. And I will appreciate if you if you're honest with your answer. Go ahead. Would you do the same if she's your daughter? God forbid. God forbid. No daughter of mine will do such unless I am not a mother. What is that? Prostitution all? Is it, is, it, is it an honest job someone should do and be proud of? If your daughter should do it. That means if I should do it myself. Don't ever open your mouth to say that again in this house. Interesting. And you think you raised sense, yeah? Of course, yes. No, you think you raised sense because there was lots of money to take care of them and give them the best education. Because they never had to fed for themselves from a very tender age. Because they have everything they needed in life. Right? You think you raised sense, mom? Have you ever thought about the orphans? Have you ever thought about how they survive? Have you ever thought about those people that had nothing, no one to take care of them? Oh, because you gave us the best life and now we are sense. And the children that had nothing are a riffraff and prostitutes, right? Well, I'm coming to you later. Now, Uche, take a very good look at her. Do you recognize her? Of course you won't. It's been years gone, right? Oh, yeah. She is the same girl we raped years ago. The little girl we raped years ago while on holidays in grandma's place. Yes, she is the one. And you sit there to tell me about morals? What do you know about morals? No, I'm asking you, what do you know about morals? Do you know what we did to her, led her into prostitution? And you sit back there to tell me about morals, right? You're telling me about morals, calling her prostitute, without knowing what we did to her. Now, mom, you sit there to tell me the best wife to choose? Yes, 
the monk of your children put her in that condition. Oh. Chima. Chima What's that? I mean, is it is it true? So when when did you find out about this? That day you you, you told me the story concerning how you you got raped. I, I knew about that, but I I just I just didn't want to. My love. Do you and your brother understand the gravity of the offense that you've committed? Imagine raping a minor. A minor. Now tell me, what moral rights do you have to judge any person when you've committed the worst crime on planet Earth? Tell me! God! I can't believe that I have rapists as sons. Did you be a rapist? Mom. Brother, don't, don't, don't just call me! Don't open that mouth and call me! I'm ashamed of you! I'm disgusted by you too! Upon all your high horse. Pride. You ended like this. Rubbish. Arrant nonsense. Am I talk here? Peace.
MTN number you have dialed is currently switched off. Please try again later. Thank you. MTN number you have dialed is currently switched off. Please try again later. Thank you. Okay, Amanda. Do you have to stop crying? You've been crying ever since I got here, and it's not healthy for you. Please, my friend. Oh, on earth do you expect me to stop crying? Well, tell me. How can I stop crying when the one that claims to love me is the one responsible for all my problems? Tell me why I should stop crying. I know this can be very hard. I was so shocked when you told me about everything that happened. So shocked that I'm here to come to terms with everything. Mm. But that's notwithstanding. You have to get hold of yourself. It's not that easy. I know this can be hurting. But you need to stop crying. Just look at your eyes. They are swollen. Please, you need to stop crying. Hmm? I cannot take this. I can't take this. Just when I thought that I'm getting behind my predicament. Just when I thought I was at the verge of getting my ugly past behind. Just when I thought I had gotten healed completely. But alas, everything turned back like my worst nightmare. Like it's so terrible. And he's eating so deep into me. I just want to believe that I am dreaming. Just if you can actually wake me up, it will be better for me. Because I just believe, I just want to believe that I'm dreaming. I'm dreaming. I'm dreaming, Angie. I'm okay. dreaming. It's okay. It's okay, Amanda. You have to stop crying. It's okay. Mm -mm. Things will fall in place. I know and I believe. Please, my friend. So Please. Please. Oh, my goodness. And I... I am sorry. I am so sorry. What we did is considered evil. In the sight of God. And man. No. I have no justification, no excuse for the hideous crime I committed against you. I know you have every right to do what you want to do to make up for the pains. But I'm truly sorry. I am deeply sorry for what we did. I am ashamed of myself. I wish I can turn back the hands of time. But unfortunately, you can't. You just can't, okay, Chuku. I guess you guys had fun that day. You and your brother. You had so much fun. And of course you discussed it with so much glow of satisfaction on your faces. Why I... I wallowed in pain, anguish and agony. I sought it for mercy. I pleaded. But no. The urge to take advantage of a vulnerable, innocent girl wouldn't let you. You saw how helpless I was. I literally begged you guys, 
with blood gushing all over me. You couldn't see that. You still forced your way through. And here you are, telling me about forgiveness. You are so mean. You are terrible. We had no idea what we were doing. I battled it for years. I fought it. My conscience kept on pricking me for what I did. It took me time to... to get over it. Yes, it took you time. It took you time to get over it. But mine has been stalked with me all my life, Ogachuku. What you and your brother did to me has lived with me all my life. It's good a thing you have forgotten about it. It's good a thing it has left your body. The burden is off, but mine is not off. Please, for me to forget about mine, I want you to stay away from me, Ogochu. Leave my house and never return. Go! No, I can't leave you. You are my life. I love you. No, you don't love me. Yes. Okay, Chuku, you don't love me and you never loved me. You saw me and recognized that I was the girl you and your brother dealt with. And you became so nice to me. You were showing me so much love like you care. You do not care. Everything was all about sympathy. You were sympathy up, sympathy down. No. Because of what you and your brother did to me, in it. No, no. No, what? Why are you lying? You are so evil. Evil personified. My dumps. Yet you, you preach to me about love. Do you know what love is? Do you know exactly what love is? Mother, Get out of my house. Please. Get out. Please. Oh, get you, you are evil. Leave my house. Get away. Mother. Get away. Get away. Mother. Mother. You will not like me. Get out. Get you put in my house, get out of my house. Seriously against my brother marrying a prostitute. Little did I know that this prostitute was initiated into the profession by the rape she suffered as a teenager. It even hurts me more that I am the actual rapist. I am so ashamed of the pains I have caused you. I am sorry. Now you know. So? What next? I and my brother regret everything that happened on that day. I was the person who lured my brother into all the pains will cost you. I take full responsibility of it. Really? Yes, I, and I know it might be difficult for you to forgive me. But my honest prayer and request is that you find a place in your heart to forgive me. I am here right now to seek retributions for all of my action. I am ready to do anything you want me to do. Please. Anything you say? Yes. Anything? Okay. I'll tell you. I want you to take yourself out of my house and never return. When I mean out, I mean out. Get out. Leave my house 
in peace. In one piece, actually. Get out! Get out! Don't make me lose it! Thank you. Come on, girl. It's okay to who you're talking about here. I know you became a prostitute as a result of the rape. But after many years, he saw you and fell in love with you, notwithstanding what you do for a living. What he did to you back then was evil. But I know he's sorry. He's deeply sorry. That's where you got it all wrong. Yes. Okechupu doesn't love me. He knows everything. He knows. That was why he was acting all nice, sympathizing with me. And you know I hate something like that. Mother, can you just stop it? Do you know you're lying? Okechuku loved and cared for you the very day he met you. And you know that. And I'm telling you that he does not love me. Okechuku was only sympathizing with me because he knew full well that, that he put me in this mess. Can you, what are you telling me? Can you just stop it? Can you just stop it for once, Amanda? See, I know it's hurting. I understand you. I you know don't understand hurting. me. You have no idea what I'm passing through. That is why you're raising your voice at me instead of trying to... Please. Can okay. you just calm down? It's hurting, but you have to relax. You have to calm down. It's not good for you. Come it out of this mood. It is well with my soul. It is well. Amanda, I'm your friend. It's not like I'm supporting Okejuku, but please. You need to come out of this mood. He's sorry, and he's sorry for real. Please. You're hurting yourself. And it's not good for you. 